Hello again and welcome to another episode of the Franchise Everything podcast where we talk about everything and anything franchising and today I'm joined again by Malcolm Rees who's the CEO of World Options Australia. G'day Malcolm. G'day Glenn. G'day mate and excellent and today we're going to be talking about the five key things that have made the World Options Australia franchise brand what it is today. And the number one thing you came up in your little homework you did before this was simplifying shipping. Talk us through what simplifying shipping means from what, the, what World Options is providing to the market. Right, if you go back years, right, you used to have to manually fill in a consignment note, ring the, ring the, uh, the courier, wait for the courier to come up and, and, and do that, and so you had all that. Our software basically has that process embedded into it electronically, yep. right? And so you, f- you follow a process uh, when you're booking a shipment, and like the really good shippers, right, who, who are familiar, really familiar with this, can, can when they've got their address box filled out, mm. they can do a shipment in, in like 30 seconds, mm. right? And, and that's There's a lot of pre filled data, right? Oh, yeah, yeah pre filled da- data, yeah, and yeah. so, so our, our, our um, software is rich with, with that pre filled data yeah. and, and allows you to do bulk shipping. And if you've got 50 shipments, you can go and get quotes for all it and just go ship and do bulk printing straight yeah. away, right? And so that's the simplification of, of that. And then also, you do have your franchise waiting in the wings as well that basically can answer any tough questions as mm-hmm. well. And that's mm-hmm. the simplification of, of, you know, if I've got something on, can I send this uh, as, as a shipment? Could so be. there's actually someone to ask, a franchisee to ask, who's your account, effectively your account manager, yeah, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, you could go to onto Google, but you sit there and say, well, is, is that is that is it correct? correct? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, exactly, yeah. yeah. And so things like, uh, how do I sh- ship lithium batteries as an example, right? Yep. And, and you know, lithium batteries got propensity for fires and that sort of stuff. And, mm. and so, yeah, you need advice on that. You know, uh, how do I do packing properly and that sort of stuff as mm. well. And so, so if you've got something, you know, we, we've got a customer who ships water coolers around, right? And, you know, we advise them, you've got to have corner packing in place. Otherwise, you know, you, 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 if, you know, the, these... These couriers basically uh, are not the uh, gentlest people, <laughs> right? Got lot, they've got a lot, yeah. lot of freight to move. That, that, yeah. that's, that's exactly right. And then you have know, other customers who are, who are shipping, who unload a container from China, and that's pretty good for the packaging for if it's in a shipping container. But it's, as it goes individual into the back of a truck, mm. you need to make sure your packaging's great for, for that as well. Mm-hmm. And these are all the things we teach our franchisees and, uh, of, of how do you educate your customer as well to make that shipping process as easy as possible for everyone. Because the biggest problem that a customer will face, if you've got damage, you've got lost and missing shipment and that sort of stuff. Mm. If you've got great packaging, the propensity for loss and damage and that goes down mm. a lot. Mm. Right? Easier for everyone, yeah. more efficient. All right, that leads on excellently actually to the second point that you came up with and that was a key differentiator being for your business is the franchise owner. So the franchise owner in their territory, what, what do you mean by that? Yeah, well, look, yeah, it, you, we, we target small and medium-sized businesses and you're dealing with a lot of business owners and they want to be ma- making sure that they get the best deals uh, and they trust the people who are, who are servicing them. Mm. It could be electricity, it could, it could be you know, uh, office supplies, shipping as an example. So we want to basically make sure that our franchisee is knowledgeable enough that when he sits in front of a, a customer, um, and trying to sell a business that he's trusted because he's knowledgeable, he's got a great product, uh, and that. And that is, is the big, 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 big difference. Yeah, I, I've said in a previous podcast that the, some of the courier companies won't get out of bed unless you're spending $5,000 a week, right? Mm-hmm. And, and with that, that makes a big difference because you go and eyeball somebody and, and, and see them and, and that, it makes a big difference of actually seeing who you're actually dealing with, right? Mm-hmm. And, that's, and that's the face we want to put in front of the customer, a well-trained, ethical uh, franchisee who's mm-hmm. out there selling this business. And that leads on to a little, another little question though I had around that. What territory sizes? So how how do you map your territories and everything for franchise partners being being that key difference for you for you? How yep. does it work? So we've got non exclusive uh, territories. Yep. We 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 do give um, home territories, but that's only uh, for a basis of if we get a sales lead in through our, our website, yep. uh, we will give it to the nearest franchise uh, according to according to what his home territory is. Yes. We do say in our agreement that build a business in your home territory first, and then you can go anywhere, right? Mm. And so so big because we don't want people going. There to there to there, but the good thing about this non-exclusivity um, as you as you grow is that if you've got a network in another city, you can sell in that city. Mm. Um, you can if you've got no people overseas who who 
do that. So, so obviously this is not just domestic shipping, this is international shipping as well. Yes. And so so you're not just stuck with that. And so utilize your 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 friends, family, mm. ex colleagues, um, that, that sort yeah. of stuff, right? Just is, grow is, is critical. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the third one you want to talk about um, as far as one of the five key things that have made you what you are today, um, is this knowledge hub. You've mentioned it a couple of times to me today in various things. Tell me tell me about this knowledge hub you've created. So so we have to, you know, we, we have invested in a learning management system where we want to basically bring all the knowledge that a franchisee should have. Things from how do you run your business right, right from get go? What's good business practices? You know, what's the industry doing? Right? Um, you know, how do I use the portal properly? What are the features I should be selling in the portal? Um, you know, what are the selling skills I need to know? And there's a lot of subjects in there. So we're we're going to take all our face to face training and put that into courses in the, the learning management system uh, that the franchisees will take again. It's available to them time. They can take as many times as they want as well uh, and and develop their knowledge because I always say in the training to a franchisee, if you are an expert in the portal and how that works uh, and also the processes that go into that. The shipping and, portal. Yeah, yeah the yep. shipping portal. And also if you're an expert in the uh, carrier's products, you will have a great better chance of, of being successful in your sales because you, you're, you're, you're showing mm. I'm an expert in this, mm. right? Well, you'll have so many solutions, won't you, to, to problems when you well, know that, that, that inside out, won't you? That, that's right. I mean, yeah. you, you need to gain that knowledge. And this is why we're saying, and this is why we call it the knowledge hub as well. Mm. It's not just a, a learning portal. It's basically gain knowledge because mm. we, we, we encourage them to be basically um, – yeah, improving themselves. Self improvement's a big part of the ethics that we we want, or the ethos we want to take mm. take through. Right. The fourth thing you want to talk about that you mentioned to me was the self service portal style of the business yes. here. So it was, we, you spoke earlier on about it being manual it used to be in previous days, but it's yeah, certainly yeah. moved well and truly beyond that. So self service being a key focus of the business that's really yeah. separating you. So so the. the our shipping portal is designed that the customer does virtually all the work, right? Um, and and that is so that if he wants to know, well, where's my shipment? He can find it on the portal. Uh, yeah, where's my invoice? He can find it on the portal. How much was that invoice? Um, I've got a query on on something. Yeah, it's all available on the portal. And that the whole purpose of this is that we have a support center that deals with the difficult stuff. The, the customer does the easy stuff for himself, mm. and that allows the franchisee time to sell. Mm. And, to and go and meet more small business owners. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, yeah, one of the things that – one of the slides I, I, I teach in, in, in that training is I used to be you know, the global head of, of DHL for sales, right? And I also was members of a, of a, a couple of big U.S. Um, you know, sales research thing. And there was re some research that, that went out to 100,000 salespeople. And it says that on average, salespeople are only, only selling for 22% of the time uh, out of a day. Mm -hmm. And the rest is taken up with basically operational problems. Yeah, so and they're admin or ops people. Coffee that, and they? that sort of stuff, right? Yeah. And admin and all that sort of stuff, right? Mm. Yeah, you know, we want our salespeople to be, be above, you know, sort of 70% selling. And, and this self service service portal allows them to do that mm. right and so that is that any problems yeah we've got a support group that helps solve those doesn't solve them all together mm. but it helps solve, solve so this self-service portal would take a lot of pressure off franchise owners wouldn't it that previously oh, might have been there absolutely right absolutely yeah. with, with all these small questions that probably they probably get asked 50 times <laughs> 50 well, yeah, times yeah. a week thing is that when you're trying yeah. to make a sale and your telephone's continually going off, yeah. um, you, you, you're distracted, right? Yeah, especially with the problem makes it even yeah, more yeah. concerning. Exactly. All right, and the, the fifth one, the fifth one we were going to go on was, I know we've you've mentioned this a couple of times this morning as well, uh, as, as far as a key thing that have made World Options what it is today is the nature of the industry you're in. Okay, so the growth yeah. industry. Can you talk talk through that? Because this is quite an interesting thought process. Well, you look at the compound annual growth rate of logistics, and mm. this is all the readings you, you, you do in this. It's five to seven percent annually, year on year on year on year. So the so, so the growth is great. It's not like you're uh, in a uh, food and food and beverage where uh, people you know people have not got the dollar in their pocket. To go out and have 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 a meal mm. out, right, and so so and that would drive a quite a big drop in the earnings of of a restaurant or a cafe or something like that. People generally, if they're trying to do business, 
they they can't skimp on shipping simply because mm. that's the heartbeat of their business. That is the so, sale yeah. delivery, yeah, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so so we are not totally uh, recession proof, but mm. there's there's a lot of because that gets thrown around a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, that it, phrase it does, it mm. does, yeah. And, and the other thing is obviously e-commerce is still growing like that, and yeah. we are intrinsically linked to e-commerce because if you buy something, it has to be delivered, um, and and you know. It, well, any, any physical thing, right? You know, obviously, cards and that sort of stuff can be be basically done electronically. But mm. the thing is, it has to be be delivered. Mm. E-commerce is growing like that. You, I always read the Australia Post e-commerce uh, report, mm. and that talks about the e-commerce growth is is growing greatly, and, mm. and it will continue to grow grow greatly. So, so the positioning of your business within that niche or within that industry is that's right. Key. Well, you buy something on the on the internet. Mm. Um, yeah, off a Shopify or WooCommerce mm. site or something like that. You have to get it delivered, mm. right? And you're, you're a person who can get it there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Excellent. That's exactly. a great way to finish, mate. That's uh, five key things that have made World Options what it is today. Thanks, mate. Correct. Appreciate Thank it. You. And that's another one for the Franchise Everything podcast. I hope you like this information. If you'd like more of it, please like, subscribe, share, and pass it around, and we'll catch you in the next one soon.